A long time Suncoast philanthropist has passed away just weeks from what would have been her 101st birthday. Betty Schoenbaum contributed tens of millions of dollars to the local economy and our community. ABC 7's Ray Collins knew Betty and joins us with more on her life. Ray? Yeah, Scott, a century old, but still a, a ready smile and a quick wit. Here's her entrance at her 100th birthday last September. Watch this. Ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice. <laughs> Well, despite her age, Betty's death was a surprise to many. She had pneumonia, and even some close friends weren't aware she was sick. She was born in Dayton, Ohio, during the Woodrow Wilson administration. Her late husband, Alex, founded the Shoney's Restaurant franchise in West Virginia, and that went nationwide. After he passed away, Betty continued to stay active in charities here and worldwide. The CEO of the Glasser Schoenbaum Human Services Center on 17th Street here in Sarasota says she was shocked and saddened by Betty's passing. As people age, of course, you know there's an inevitability to it. But Betty was one of those people that you just thought was really going to live forever because her impact for sure will on our community, and not only our community, but globally. She made a tremendous difference at Ohio State, um, and in Israel, in Ethiopia, um, all over. She would have turned 101 in a few weeks. Betty is survived by two sons, two daughters, and 17 grand and great-grandchildren. Indeed, a full life, Scott.